Welcome to the spoken tutorial on introduction to data frames in R. I am Kandan Mogalya. In this tutorial, we will explain how to create a data frame in R, how to work with it, how to save it into a file, and how to read data from a file into a data frame. We will also learn about the data sets that come with the R software. To understand this tutorial, one needs to know elementary maths. For example, the meaning of mean, row, and column. One needs to know how to edit a text file and plotting. No programming background is required. However, anyone with a simple exposure to statistics can understand this tutorial. Please locate this tutorial on our webpage spoken-tutorial.org. Prerequisite spoken tutorials, if any, will be mentioned in this page. I am using version 3 of R, R Studio 0.97 and Mac OS X 10.7 but it should work in other versions and also other operating systems too. Let us switch to R Studio. Let us begin with the C command to create a vector. Notice that I am using the assignment operator that is less than followed by hyphen. I will use the word get to denote this assignment. This is the way to create a vector of three elements. C stands for create or concatenate. Although the equal to sign works most of the time, one usually uses this operator in R. Let us view what the vector sample contains. Let us now build a data set. We will also call it as a data frame in this tutorial. Let me create a vector of Indian cricket captains, old and new. Names, gets, C of, Mahi, Saurav, Azar, Sunny, Pataudi, Dravid. Each name has to be entered in between double quotes. Let us view what the variable names contains. I will create a vector to store the number of matches they captain. One can see all the variables got entered in the workspace. Now let us put these together and create a data frame as I do now. Okay. It is data dot frame. Okay. Let us understand what the command data frame does. To do this, let us view the brackets Captain C. The contents of the data frame appear nicely in the window above. What will happen if you just type Captain C without the view command? Would you want to try it now? In statistics, one works with such data sets. Remember, the commands and variables in R are case sensitive. The view command begins with a capital V. It is easy to access the parts of a data frame. For example, this is how I will get the names in the Captain C data frame. Let us similarly get the number of matches 1. Let us find the ratio of matches 1. Okay. When we divide a vector by another R carries out component wise division. 
let us include this ratio also in the captain C data frame. Captain C dollar victory gets ratio. What is in ratio gets transferred to victory, a variable in the data frame captain C. We can check that ratio is included in the captain C by the view command. You can see that the ratio is included. Victory. Let us reduce the number of digits displayed in the ratio to 2. We do this with the command options within brackets digits equals 2. Let us view the captain C again. We can see that now it has been reduced to 2 digits. Let us see the number of matches played by all the captains. Let us find the mean of these matches. Okay. By direct calculation, we find, find that mean does exactly what it should. These two are equal. Let us now get some plots with this data frame. Let us plot the ratio of victories versus the year of Captain C. Remember that x-axis variable has to be listed first in the plot command. Let us plot the number of matches captain versus the names of the captains. You can see dollar play. We can drag this a little bit. The graph expands. We put it back. We will now explain how to write this data frame to a comma separated variable file or csv. We will use the command write.csv as we do now. Let me move this to the right. Okay. This writes the captaincy data frame into the file new captaincy.csv. Let me open this file using my favorite text editor Emacs. You may use any other text editor such as Notepad or VI or Gedit. Please do not, however, use Microsoft Office or LibreOffice Writer for this purpose because you may not be able to load these files into R. Let us now see what the file new captaincy.csv contains. This CSV file contains everything that we created. It also contains row numbers in every row at the beginning. How will you get rid of these row numbers? Add an additional flag called additional flag called row dot name equals false. Okay. Let us read the new version of this file in Emacs. In Emacs, I just have to refresh it. In other editors, you may have to reopen the file. We see that the row numbers no longer appear. Let us make a small change in this CSV file and read it. Let us change Mahi to Doni and save the file. Let us click import data set. There are two options from the text file and from the web. Reading from a local file is a foolproof method. It works even if internet is not available. All one has to do is to download the required files ahead of time. Let us click the file option. Let us select new captain C. In order to see this, let's maximize this. Let's import this. Let's minimize this. 
So you will not have this problem of course because you will be using the whole screen. For this tutorial I am using only a small portion of the screen and that is why we, had, we have had this problem. The appearance of a data frame called new captain C here and also here shows that it has been read. It also has Dhoni as the name. The row numbers also have disappeared. It is also possible to read Excel and ODS files into R. This involves a little more work and hence not covered in this tutorial. It is easy to export Excel and ODS files into CSV format. So for now, please use the CSV route to import Excel or ODS files. Let us take up the final topic for this tutorial. R comes with uh, several data frames. To access them, issue the command data brackets. R shows a list of available data frames. We can carry out all sorts of calculations on these data sets. We will just view one data set called CO2. We will conclude this tutorial here. In this tutorial, we learned the following. We created vectors. We put the vectors into a data frame. We operated on the data frame. We saved the data frame into a file, imported the file into R, examined the data frames that came with R. We now suggest an assignment. Find out how to calculate median using the help button. Repeat the above using web search. Calculate the mean and median of the data frame CO2. Take R's help for all the commands shown in this tutorial. Import a data set from the internet directly or through a file. This video summarizes the spoken tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you may download and watch it. We conduct workshops using spoken tutorials. Give certificates. Please contact us. The Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NME ICT, MHRD, Government of India. Thanks for joining. Goodbye.